Hello, everybody, and welcome to Galaxy in Revolt, Episode 2. Our Star Wars West End Games uh, D6 uh, system game. Those words go in an order. <laughs> uh, last time... 10 out of 10. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, last time, we met the, the group which uh, consists of uh, Vitoth, a Tegruta a former Jedi Knight, uh, uh, Azuli, a Dathomiri uh, mercenary, a Jedi Master Kaya Kadath, and her current apprentice, Roz Lek, uh, and um, a prototype vulture droid, the... Um, the uh, now my window is closed, so I can't... Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, damn it. Variant, Variant for, for light recon. Light recon. Thank you. We uh, even I, talked. I know <laughs> about it because we forgot. And Marty wasn't here for that, so I, well, he can read the chat. I, I can't. That's right. <laughs> Mine's full screen. Okay. So we met those characters. They are aboard a um, a star destroyer. Um, a Republic Star Destroyer uh, called the Errant Venture. Although it is not owned by the Republic, it's owned by a Corellian named Booster Tarek. Um, let's see. And, um, yeah, we were introduced to all of the characters, and um, there was some interaction, there was a, there was a buffet, um, much talk about what the best thing to get from the buffet were spring rolls um spring rolls mm -hmm. if i recall it's just a pocket they travel spring rolls. um uh and vitoth was reunited with his or yes with his former master uh vitoth and Roz were then sent below decks to investigate the uh separatist on board named doom doom dome treator dumb traitor I'm trader. Um, <laughs> and see what he was hauling. They then found uh, the uh, prototype vulture droid and let the vulture droid out of the cage, uh, the, or the, the, the crate they were in, and proceeded to make a very loud noise. Uh, so, Azuli and Kaya, you have heard that noise, but let's... Do we hear it? It's... You hear it. It's loud. Yikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are a deck away for context for yes. you just getting caught up. Um, a, a noisy deck away, even. Uh, it's one of those things where, like, it's almost like you hear, like, there's a hush and then the loud noise, and it's like, <laughs> oh, great. Uh, but down below where the loud noise is, uh, Ross and Vitoth, it's very, like, it's audibly harmful <laughs> um uh, uh okay what's going on down there <laughs> uh jay do you want to sort of lead us i think uh, as val is kind of just like lying on the floor and just like a heap kind of wiggling around figuring out how limbs work this kind of here go error error Current objective, await in crate, commanding officer will open crate, commanding officer is set to creator, error, creator is Dom Tritor, error, registry overwrite required, additional information required, and then her head is going to just kind of like pop up as her neck extends, she's going to turn to Roz and ask, what is your name? Uh, I am Padawan Roslek of the Jedi Temple. <laughs> Acknowledged. Overriding. Creator and commanding <laughs> officer is set to Ros Ter set to Roslek. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> really Creator, nice. what am I doing here? Uh, uh, I don't know. What do you want to be doing? Uh, 
error. <laughs> error. <laughs> <clears throat> I do not wish to be in a discombobulated pile. Oh, I, I, I can help with that a little bit, and Roz will try to, like, push Val into some sort of standing position. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's big. Like, there's... I, you're, you're pushing, but it's mostly just giving her ideas. Yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> you can, like, guide. Guiding is it's... more than, like, physically placing it. But, yeah, no, you can totally help her stand and such. It's like the opening scene of Bambi. Mm -hmm. Like Thumper yep. trying to like push Bambi up. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's like Iron Giant cross Bambi. Creepy. <laughs> 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 uh, as I recall, there was some security person that I knocked out. Um, it's a battle down. droid, so you you that's you right. bust. Yeah, yeah, you straight yeah, bust. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, but you were, uh, you, were forced... you were telekinetically holding it up so that it like if someone passes by they can still see. It looks yeah yeah it looks good. Yeah. Um, and battle droids aren't smart so. But then there's this klaxon. Is that what's what's the sound? This painful? Was that just the reaction that was, of that Val? Was, that was Val. Uh, that was Val tripping over herself yeah, trying tripping. to walk. <laughs> it was it was I the sound see. of a spaceship okay. slamming into an interior wall basically. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, Tumbling over. I like to think she ended up upside down on the wrong part of the vulture droid legs. <laughs> and then there's a lot of screeching as the vulture droid legs kind of go and like, <laughs> like a turtle on its back. Um, I say, uh, Padawan, can you enlighten me as to what's happening? Uh, I will tell you as soon as I figure that one out, sir. <laughs> oh, you don't need to call me, sir. Please. Have you seen Bambi? <laughs> <laughs> it would really help. don't think I know that one. I don't it's think it's been shot universe. yet. <laughs> it's a long time ago. A long, long time ago. It hasn't been shot yet. Um, but yes, same universe. Uh, is there any sense of any official types coming, or... Um, so yeah, so, um, after the, the after the, the noise, um, you can hear what sounds like a, a subtle alarm going off in, um, a control room nearby, <laughs> and it does sound like there are droids moving about. Uh, as though they are coming this way or just moving generally, doing um, their thing? No, more more as if they are um, rallying, uh, unifying, and coming this way. Okay. So uh, we're in a hangar. Is the ship currently in hyperspace or standard space? The ship is currently in hyperspace. Okay, so there is actually a closed door in between us and space. Yes. For once. In Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, although who knows with new that cannon. blue light <laughs> doing something. I like to remember. imagine it's the one time they close the doors, but that's me. <laughs> they might just leave a magical <laughs> science barrier between them and hyperspace. Uh, it's magnetic, <laughs> I think. It's supposedly magnetics, but like that's not how magnets interact with atmospheres. So Magnets, how did they work? Magnets don't just maybe, keep atmospheres in? That doesn't sound right. Maybe sure. it was a young magnet. It's like a long, long time ago magnet. They haven't mm. developed yeah. into the magnets that we have. Or that are more, you know... It's the less... Bugs Bunny logic that the magnets don't know they can't do that yet. Right, there you go. Or it's Star Wars, so it's science fantasy. Stop thinking about it so hard. That's usually what same, I say. Same difference. Um, well, I guess no, I'll just the... go back to playing my space wizard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the door is uh, actually closed. Okay. Uh, and yeah. my my sense of how far these droid rallying uh, 
out of sight, but heard uh, forces are? Like, how far away do they seem to be? Um, do you want... Yeah, give me either a force sense or... Uh... There's, like, a perception skill. What is it? There is. There's perception. Uh, or search. Notice. I use oh, four no, sense. Or notice. I use four sense. That's fine. No, I think notice is starts that number. Oh, okay. Yeah, we put Are we allowed to roll search for a thing? Sure. Neat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so four sense or search. Uh... Eighteen. Total of fifty-three. Eighteen. <laughs> Look, Seriously, droids are, droids are very good at the things. That they're good. Droids are very good at the things they are built That's for. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So, and what was yours, uh, Timothy? Because four cents will tell you something different than than. Uh, uh, it was eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, so because they're droids, you have a hard time sensing like their uh, their mood or right. um, their objectives. But you can sense where they are, mostly by, like, enhancing your senses kind of thing. Like, you're uh -huh. you're just listening. So you can tell that there's a decent number of them, uh, probably a um, squad. Uh, and you'd say they're about 200 meters away. So you, they're at a distance, but they're coming. For okay. The, the, the 453. <laughs> Um, there oh. are 12 battle droids. Um, they are 200 meters away and moving at a speed of 10 meters every six seconds. There's um, 453 of them, or they're like the fighting 453rd? No, no, sorry. I, I was joking. I rolled a really high number. I was joking about for his search. For his high score. Yeah. Um, I see, I see. So, no, there's there's 12 battle droids. You th or, yeah, what did I say? Did I say 10? 12. 12. Uh, 12. 12. Um, 12 battle droids. Um, with the 53, you can tell they are generic battle droids. They're not like commandos or anything. They're white with black letters that just uh, say battle droid. Battle droid. <laughs> uh, now, the other thing you all would have noticed in the room before you... Before all this happened. Next to Val's crate was a rack of 10 destroyer droids. And destroyer <laughs> droids are bad news. So they aren't activated. Someone has to come activate them. But you either want to do something about that or <laughs> get away from here. Yeah. Obi Wan and Qui Gon couldn't deal with two. This is ten. Yeah. Uh... Uh, hiding would be a good idea. Do you want to hide? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Jump up. I mean, how? What's? Where is this? Is there only one way out from where we are? Uh, looking, oh, around, yeah. looking around, there's the way you came in, but there are also uh, control rooms behind you that might have additional exits. Does Val have uh, something to hide in? <laughs> uh, could go back into their into her crate. No, I mean, like, could I hide in Val? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, Tauntauns, some droid Tauntauns. You're pretty you're... small. How big is my magazine for holding buzz droids? Because it's only got the one in it right now. Let's look up how big a buzz droid is. <laughs> is it a Roz <laughs> size? Uh, how big are you, uh, I think I think I was... I don't think I'm meter more than four feet, or three feet. Not tall. Uh, I, I am three foot exactly. I would say that the, yes, you could fit in there. You'd have to get the buzz droid out and the, the kind of the extra stuff space. So it's going to be tight, but you could. Because buzz droids are smaller. But I think if you kind of get, get small and wiggle in, you could. How are the ceilings in this place? Uh, tall. Uh, you'd say 20 meters. Because I was thinking okay. we could... All enough for a 20 meter droid to be standing up in here right now. Are you that tall? 
Are you trying uh, to this about 20 meters. I said meters, I probably meant like feet. I just pulled it down to see. I thought you were about 20 like meters is so. <clears throat> yeah, that's taller than I was thinking. I'm 6 meters, 6.87 meters. That's 18 geez, feet. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, you you are you are bigger than I thought you were. I thought you were like <laughs> 10 feet tall. Nope. Um, okay. So, more like 30 meters, let's say, then. Okay, because I was thinking we could do a TK jump and up to the ceiling and try yeah. and across, are, out of sight of these droids. Uh, there are, like, support beams and rafters and stuff up mm -hmm. there that you could grab onto and hide in. Are you adept at this, Padawan? Do you feel confident, uh... or would, would you rather interface with your new friend? Uh... Can I assist? I, I, can I assist Rose if if uh, Rose feels like? Can I use my my force to help? I mean, I can try to jump. I'm not the, as good as Master Yoda as uh, jumping around like that. No one, no one has the skill of Master Yoda. Um, at at Roz's level of her she's not going to be able to jump uh 90 feet right. you could try and throw her 90 feet and she could then like <laughs> use the force to kind of aim herself that's right. certainly doable but yeah 90 feet is like yeah that's like a master yoda level right feet. uh okay in the so back yeah, of right, your take mind, chances in the droid <laughs> in the back of your mind i want vitoth to hear you signed out one padawan <laughs> you have to return one Padawa. <laughs> I could get this little droid. You did not get the insurance. There's a, there's a warrant. This is warranted, though. I think. I think it's still life lifetime something. Yes. Um. All right. Well. Uh... Vitoth's lifetime or Roz's <laughs> lifetime? Mm, Whose lifetime exactly. is the warranty for? Exactly. Uh. Once a battle droid's lifetime, I mean, it's got to be skewed by life experience, right? Which is they get shot a lot. <laughs> right. Um, okay, do you have any insight onto deactivating these? Well, first of all, do we know, like, how close are they coming to us? Like, how far away are they in terms of time? Are they, like, imminent? They're about to land? Uh, we got to do something now? Approximately 10 meters per second, 200 yes. meters away. About 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Creator, if you are trying to get to the ceiling, I might be able to provide assistance. Oh. Could you? It's gonna try to, like, unsteadily, but, like, once you actually... Actually, no, once you get her into, like, a standard-looking position, she just kind of, like snaps into standing and just kind of like figures it out real quick and it's kind of like manages to bounce up on three of her legs and stick the fourth one out at a low angle so like you might be able to grab onto it or step onto it to lift it up some oh uh yeah then Roz would just like hop onto the extent offered uh leg Okay. Do I? I would like to try and. Uh, are we going up to the support beams? Are not as high as the ceiling itself, right? Of course, so is yeah. it ninety feet to a beam, or is it? So if you're trying to jump up there, you could you could kind of do like a like a bouncing maneuver. Uh, so like you'd still have park, to make force parkour kind force of thing. Force parkour, yes. Yeah. So hold on, I just gotta... parkour. Parkour. Par, par four. <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's force jump um, control or alter? I, think it, I think it's control control and looking <clears throat> to like enhance your own attributes force of will Hmm. Maybe it's a subset of another generic power. 
Uh, like enhance attributes. Yeah, something. yeah. So, um, yeah, um, according to my little sheet, enhance attribute is a control power. So, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So I will try to double jump. Sure. Yeah, so you, you, yeah, you, you're trying to get up above. Okay, so I'm going to use my control. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, and don't forget, you get to add one extra die to your total because nice. of uh, backstory. Yeah, because of, <laughs> because of a tragic backstory. Tragic backstory. Okay. Roll one tragedy. <laughs> okay, my designated wild guy was a six. Okay, so it explodes. So, so let me just get a total, and then I'll roll the exploder. Mm -hmm. One more time. So that is. Oh, that's easy. It's, uh, 24 plus 1, 25. Excellent. So, yeah, Vitoth concentrates, um, jumps. The film looks sped up for a moment as he jumps. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um,. He and... just jumped down and they played it in reverse. <laughs> Probably that. Yeah, why does he look like his foot is broken at the start of that jump? <laughs> so weird. Um, uh, yeah, and you... You kind of grab a... Grab a lower vent, push off that, and you get pretty high up. You're not up at the top, but you're on one of the lower rafters uh, yeah. kind of area. So you're probably about 60 meters up, and you can hop... Uh, on top of it, so you're kind of laying flat, um, and by all accounts, they can't. See, no one can see you from the ground. Great. Uh, how wide is the kind of beam? Like, could I move across it, or would I, and try to be unseen? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah. It's it's almost bridge, walkway esque. Like you could definitely walk across it. Okay. And cool. it's. You're going to have to be careful, but if you're moving slow, you're not right. going to have any problems. Right. Um, and I would like to just... Uh, have been in touch with with um, Rose about this, just about like what I was doing. So you'd see me, track me going up. Um, and you are doing... What is your plan? Are you going to uh, try and get up there too, or...? Uh, I was waiting for our new droid friend to tell me. <laughs> yeah, so what's what's your I mean, plan, Jay? <laughs> just to kind of hold her up by the ceiling. Okay, and you're just kind of trying to float up there as quietly as possible. Oh, you're yeah, flying. Sure. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Actually, yeah, that would have made more sense to pop into flying mode and just like. Oh, did you want to climb? Uh, maybe I misunderstood. Did you want to climb up there? I think it was just an elevator ride, right? Like, Yeah. I think that was just lifting so that Roz could yeah. jump more easily. Uh, <laughs> I misunderstood. Okay, Roz. <laughs> so can I get either a... Um, I think there's a jumping skill if you want to use that, or you can try and use the force to, to jump. Your your check will be much... E uh, will not require as high a total as... Vitoths. Since you're essentially like 25 meters up or whatever, 25 feet up. I'm actually good at jump, or I have a skill in jumping, so maybe I'll just do that. Okay, sure. Mm. <laughs> That's a seven. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to help? <laughs> can I? Can I try? I used to be good at jumping. <laughs> You're jumping from a kind of unstable yeah. platform, so it's very smooth. I'm just yeah. picturing when my cat whiffs a jump. Like, <laughs> I've seen you make this jump a thousand times, and somehow you're going like this, and you just fall out of the air. <laughs> um, so, no, yeah, it's this is just not. You know, this is not what you're used to jumping wise. You have to do a lot of jumping and backflips and Jedi training for some reason. Um, <laughs> carrying your master around, it's weird. Um, 
<laughs> and hard. <laughs> and hard, considering the size difference alone. Yeah. Um, I had to do it, so do you. <laughs> How tall is Kaya? Is Kaya? <laughs> Except your master was Yaddles. Yes. <laughs> I didn't internalize why we were doing it. I just said we'd do it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, uh, Val can attempt to catch you, or Vitoth can attempt to catch you with the Force. Or you can attempt to catch yourself with the Force. Like, you are a Jedi. Yeah, I'll use my Jedi powers. Yeah, do it. Uh, so yeah. this would be... I would do that. <laughs> In the meantime, what would I be rolling to try to catch her? Uh, Gulpins are doing it for themselves. <laughs> I think it's a dex. I would say it's a dex check to try and catch her. Oh no! <laughs> oh, or lifting? Do you have lifting? It's a strength skill. Uh, I do not. But I, think but I have a better strength than I have dexterity. Yeah, so you could you try and use strength. Um, okay, Roz, so give me a control check. Let's say you're trying to essentially force jump. Make that jump roll okay. a little better. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's another two. Okay, so you brought it up to a nine? Okay. So, of my three die, I rolled three sixes. Okay. <laughs> so, one of them explodes. And it rolled a six again. So it keeps going. <laughs> That one was a five. No. Okay, so that was... was that? Was you, you developed the fours. Four sixes and a five. <laughs> Basically. Okay. Right. Oh, a force droid. <clears throat> so. Okay. So. Roz, it, it's just awkward. Like, if this isn't your fault, Roz. So you try and jump. And you kind of start to fall. You concentrate and you push yourself up with the force a little bit. And you still don't think you're going to make it until you feel um, something kind of bump against you. And it lifts you up, kind of bumps you up enough that you can grab onto a, um, a rafter and pull yourself up. And I think unintentionally, uh. even Val, you are flying right now. Like, because oh. hmm. you had to help your friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or master. Or, or uh, Oswald. Well, creator. 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 A much nicer word. Uh, Roz will look down and be like, oh, thank you, friend. Creator, I appear to be airborne. <coughs> right, you are. <laughs> you enjoy it? I believe so. Well, that's good. But I would like Gotta to have be hobbies. on the ground again. Well, you can sit down. Lower self down. Uh, how far below uh, are you uh, from me? Like, how? What's our uh, relative distance? Is, are we in different planes? Yeah, you. I'm further up. You're further up, so it, it's okay. like it's like a ten meter difference of kind of the every Star Wars ship is a bottom heavy base, right? Like they're all just tubes and wires and giant metal beams. Okay. And as Val lands, we're going to wipe <laughs> back up to the uh, the kind of the main deck area where you all have just heard a loud um, which um, a couple people immediately start screaming, it's an engine failure. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and just, there's a couple people panicking that Trandoshan from earlier is just screaming. <laughs> he looks a fool. Um, it, it's not an engine failure. I have some bad guesses as to what it is, but um, with None practice of Jedi calm, <laughs> <laughs> with practice Jedi calm, I keep my shit together. <laughs> as I worry now about my former student and my new student. Um, I signed out a one Padawan, and I have to return <laughs> one Padawan. 
And if I have to put Silka beads back on Vitoth and drag his ass back, we're doing it. <laughs> so, just <saying. laughs> Is this the old one? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it got complicated. All it says on the form is one Padawan. But I graduated. Yeah. But you were still one Padawan. I was. Yeah. But that, by so Master Yoda would, by the same extension, apply. But um, no, yeah. So I try and and reach um, meditative calm as I'm speaking to my new. Um, Acquaintance from Dathomir, as she said. Um, and yeah, as everyone's kind of... It, is there panic, or is it just kind of like, a, wow, somebody dropped a dish. I think it's this. Da, da, da. Like, Is everyone mostly stationary, or is that a lot of running around? It's, uh, it's mixed. It's, there okay. are a couple people who it's clear this is their first time in space. This mm -hmm. is their first time on a big spaceship where loud noises just happen. Like, yes, it could have been a manufacturing. It could have been a, you know, just a crate being dropped. Like, this is a active trade ship. Booster doesn't seem that concerned. Booster seems still mad that Dome Tree Tour is walking around with a squad of battle droids. Right. That's right. And he's kind of right. gotten down off of his soapbox. <laughs> um, and, I'm uh, sorry, Dura soap box. And uh, right. just like started marching towards Dome Tree Tour, like I'm gonna give this sure Slimo a piece of my mind. <laughs> and but to the, to read the who do you think he is? Yeah, right. To read the room correctly, he has for sure agreed to move separatists. Oh yeah, but they weren't supposed to be flashing their ass in public. Walking around with a legion or whatever, yeah, you like you're making it hot for him right now, and that's right. the one thing you don't do to booster. Like, right. he was cool. <laughs> Why aren't you cool? Right. Okay. But uh, Dome Tree Tour doesn't seem like even phased by the loud noise, or uh, he seems concerned, and he has kind of stopped, adjusted all of his um, chest plate pieces. And his voice warbles back to the docks. Um. Magic, magic. What's the closest, weakest mind? Uh, the, tran the Trandoshan. The Trandoshan? Uh... <laughs> right, he's screaming. <laughs> um. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, because it's been about a month. This is the same Trandoshan that was trying to get into a pissing contest yes, with yes. the Death Miri, right? Yes. yes. Perfect. <laughs> Famous Wookiee hunters, the Trandoshans. Um, yeah, they don't like Wookiee uh, and Jedi. If, if, because they're famous for it doesn't mean they're good at it. If, if Dumb Trader... Does seem to be reorienting themselves. Mm -hmm. I will tell the Trandoshan he should demand to know what's going on. Uh, okay. Of... Yeah. Uh, so give me a effect mind check, which is all three of your Jedi powers. So it's control, oh. sense, and alter. In order? Like, how do I do this? Yeah. So you do them in order, and because you're using three skills. Mm -hmm. you're, oh, you're I'm dosed. worse at all of them, right? You're worse at all of them, but you're adding them all together. Okay. So it's minus one per additional roll I'm making? Yeah, so total, it'll be minus two. Okay, so... To all of your checks. Or no, you're, okay. you're not totaling them together. You have to succeed three of them. On but... each three, okay. Okay, so going down the line, control... Control is 9, 15, 19. Okay. Sense. Oh, is, hmm, is 12, 17, uh, 21. And okay. I have one less die for altar. And altar is very good. 16, uh, 21. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me see what you get on all of those things.
Okay. So, um, with all of... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, with all of those, you could, like, rewrite this dude's personality. <laughs> <laughs> I just need him to make it hot for the Tin Man. Yeah, which is pretty easy. Like, it's like that's the most basic form yeah. of Jedi mind trick. But, you like, there are rules for making Jedi mind affect mind, modify memory. Like, if you go deep okay. enough, you sure. are changing some shit. I'd probably no, give you dark side points. Yeah, that but, feels like it's breaking yeah. some kind of code. Yeah. <laughs> but just to... Um, uh, the Trandoshan um, stands up, kind of loosens himself. Um, his eyes, which are already kind of offset and <laughs> a little glaze over, glaze over a little more, and he walks up to Dome Tree Tour and says, I demand to know what is happening. Uh, um... I will turn to Azuli to just kind of be like, well, that should keep them busy a little bit. Um, right now, the best thing to do is not to panic. However, I think I know the nature of our disturbance downstairs. And um, do you have a business card? <laughs> I don't understand why you keep asking me for these things. No, oh, did Roz already? Oh, well. I just, it would be am Do you have my business card. Shirt? Well, it would just, it would, you know, like kind of a, an overview of skills. You seem a very capable woman with um, quite a bit of weaponry. How are you at um, moving quietly? It is not my forte, but I can always try. Let's see. I never back down from a challenge. What's your um what's your rate? That is a good question. <laughs> One that I do not have. <laughs> ah. We're not long <clears throat> from that Dathomir, are we? <laughs> hmm. Do you want me to give you, like, the cost of things? So you can yeah. kind of, like... Okay, so... I don't um, have a reference. Let's see. <laughs> but I, I kind of, like, canonically a little bit just like, oh, no one's asked me that yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so for instance, I haven't like, gotten any takers yet. Yeah, like, a blaster pistol costs 500 credits, if that's a... Okay. If that's any kind of... Um... So do we correlate that to the cost of a handgun on the street in the <laughs> USA or okay, okay. to get a gauge? <laughs> Rations are 200 credits. That seems a lot. Yeah, so, if a blaster pistol is 500. Is that three okay, days no, a this, week for a month? Sorry, this chart makes no sense because it says a water purifier is 100 credits. Like, what? Like Tatooine, maybe. Yeah. Like not... tablets? Yeah, no. I'm... No, but like... Yeah, a water purifier should be more expensive than just rations to me. That's just some chart I found on the internet. Hold on. That's like a book. Who uses books anymore? Oh. Speeder bike is five thousand. They say Auto Chef is five hundred. We should get one of those. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Rations we one week two hundred. Oh, week two hundred. That's what it says on the miscellaneous list that you have. Yeah. Rations one week, concentrate two hundred. Uh, Otter Chef is five hundred. That seems like a better deal in, in the long run. Yeah, but I guess I you, you, have, you to, might have to replenish the Otter Chef's food. Might just put, be salish, put salacious it, crumb in there every five days. Yeah. But it's <laughs> kind of the damnedest thing. A poor man can only afford cheap boots, but they will last a percentage of the time as good boots. It's one of those things. If you can afford an Otter Chef, yes, that's the better value. But you have to. But, yeah. um, I love the knowledge. Oh, difficulty. <laughs> yeah. That was price. Um, so your rate's well, probably over 200 credits. Let's just say that. Let's, let's start the 200 credits, and then if you have me do something more complicated, we'll work it out from there. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Make sure that none of this party um, return to below decks until my companions have returned. 
you hired. want me to stand guard at the door? Yes. Stand by the door and make sure none of these droids or that particular man, creature, whatever the more appropriate uh, uh, neutral would be, are able to return downstairs. I leave it to you how, because uh, <laughs> witnessing the various poles and weapons you have on you, you seem as if you are capable. Um, and if you don't mind, um, I must get involved. And I will. Azuli can do this for you. <laughs> Thank you, Azuli of Dathomir. Um, you look over, and the Trandoshan is just now. Like poking his claw <laughs> into the chest of Don't Treat Her. I demand to know <laughs> what is happening. He's mm -hmm. turning into a kiss, a induced Karen. <laughs> he has some hair swooped over his eye. Uh. <laughs> yes, I should have to get involved, I imagine, as I am a peacekeeper. So I will go over to Dom Treat for Booster and. I'm sure the Trandoshan has a name. Uh, yes, it's uh, uh, Satok. Satok. Um, and I shall move almost as if I'm floating uh, with all the gravitas that being an old woman in robes gets me. And just kind of hover passive aggressively <laughs> outside so, of this little like. <laughs> so yeah, Booster is standing there, and he's kind of like he's trying to. He's not a big man, sure. So he can't necessarily push back a Trandoshan. He's kind of trying to just even just reassuring hands. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he sees the Jedi walk over, he's like, "Oh shit, <laughs> Master Jedi." Um. Yes, our host, I believe. Uh, Mr. Tarek, is it? Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, he kind of tips his little Fidel cap at you. Yes. And Dom Tritor, isn't it? Your appropriations chief for the Techno Guild. Not Guild, Union. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> we fought hard for the. <laughs> Absolutely, funny to find Five you. Day Galactic Work Week, chartering a journey to Kiros. Are we? Uh, he says um, we have many business dealings all over the galaxy. Oh. Yes, but of course. Um, um, and he says, I didn't know it was the Jedi job to regulate commerce as well now. Ah, uh, of course not. No, I find myself um, with my own business on Kiros. Mostly that is educating my own student. It is merely happenstance that I should find myself here, on board, with you. So recently, after... widely public speech was given. Um, Certainly the Techno Union has their own vessels. Satak, I'm going to need you to calm down. <laughs> I need. But still, answers he demanded, and answers he assumed, I think. <laughs> um, <clears throat> don't treat her, says, I don't. Oh, sorry, I mixed up the voices. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. Sorry, it's on the trade ocean. It's ever... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what you are implying. The Techno Union is and always will be neutral. And technically that's true. They are neutral. Okay. 
just like the um, banking clan is neutral. Sure. Well, that is very good to hear, as these are very trying times. There is... I point to the Trandoshan. People are nervous. Nervous. Yes. Yeah, so... Um, in this uncertain presence, it is good to know that the Techno Union is remaining neutral. That doesn't quite address... Why you're chartering a private vessel? He was hoping you forgot that question. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you markedly did not answer it. Mm-hmm. Um, he kind of stutters and stammers and pretends like it's maybe something on his chest piece. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Stat. Stat. What can you do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> um... And he says, um, uh, it is important to, uh, maintain good relations with other business associates, like Booster. Booster's kind of like, what the? Uh, Great. Booster, your name found his way to your mouth, to his mouth. Would you... Uh, yeah, Would he you... kind of, he's got a, he's got that one robot eye, as I mm-hmm. described, and he's kind of, it narrows as if, like, I asked one thing, to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the, uh, this is making it hot mm-hmm. for Booster, which is the opposite <laughs> of being cool. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, Booster... Master Tarek. I see we're chartering out our... Um... Master Jedi. Our, uh, our vessel to, of course, the Techno Union is known to be neutral. The droid presence uh, seems aggressive, wouldn't you say? I Look, I was, I was coming here to tell Mr. Appropriations Chief Tritor the same thing. I, you know, I'm happy to, to give passage to anyone with the credits. I don't like mm-hmm. shows of force. You know, this is a this is a a peaceful neutral is the word we like to use, right, Dom? Place, neutral place. Uh, I'm hearing that word used quite a bit today, yes. Uh, it, my intention is to just be vaguely condescending and tie them up indefinitely until I see either of my uh, <laughs> students, current or former, uh, give me any kind of thumbs up that they were not just crushed under a droidica <laughs> cart <laughs> below deck. Um, <clears throat> just knocked a refrigerator over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> While you are, well, and and it's it's now Dom and Booster getting into a little bit, and you can see that Dom, like, in addition to adjusting the knobs on his thing, like, seems to start hitting a couple buttons that he wasn't mm. really messing with before. And Azuli, as someone who's kind of like stepped back from it a little bit, you can see that uh, two battle droids at the very back of the the squad kind of pull off and start to move through the crowd. Like, towards the door? Like, towards the turbo lifts, yeah. Can I follow them discreetly as possible? Sure. Um... Yeah, give me... Just trying to kind of follow them through the crowd so like the battle droids aren't smart so i'm not going to even make you make a stealth check or anything like that <laughs> um see so yeah, you you start kind of tailing them you know assassin's creed style touching everyone as you walk through the crowd you're picking yourself more how is that going unnoticed you're touching everyone oh come on there's a plague happening man let's keep hands on <laughs> all right <them>. yeah <laughs> Um, 
so yeah so and you start to and most of the people other people are like i don't want any business with a battle droid uh so they're they're mostly just clearing the way but yeah and they and they they head towards the turbo lifts what would you like to do i would like to follow them okay i'm not going to take them down in front of a crowd but I, I really do want a classic uh, George Lucas uh, cut, though, of you all get you get on the lift with them. And then when you're getting off the lift, there's two droids at your feet kind of. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so they get on the turbo lift and turn and kind of one of them is like uh, one of them kind of looks at the control panel, looks at the other one, shrugs and hits a button. <laughs> Would you like to follow them on to the turbo lift? Yes, please. Okay. So, yeah, you just kind of push your way through and right onto it. And as soon as the door closes, the one battle droid says, uh, hey, uh, you can't be here. And I just knock their heads together. Ow! Yeah, give, give me a strength. Give me a brawl check. The classic. Okay. Oh, you can't be here. Kong <laughs> Kong. A brawling check, you said? Yes. Okay. That will be nine. Okay. Okay. Kunk. Um, and one of them Roger Roger and just passes <laughs> out. The other one, yeah, kind of sputters. And seems to get up for a second and then hits the ground. A lot Excellent. of droid murders so far in this show. <laughs> that's what they're for. Wow. Snap. <laughs> the the <laughs> battle droid. That, that's what that's, that is what these are for. That's what those <laughs> droids are for. Yes. <laughs> wow. Those droids? Okay. Can't, listen. My character is yet to be droid racist, but she's a little droid racist. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. So you ride down on... I'm looking forward to us meeting each other. We're going to have an interesting <laughs> conversation. Um, so, and as the turbo lift lowers, uh, top down wipe. Nice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Elevator wipe. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, back in the... The hangar bay. Uh, Val, you've just made sure Roz is safe. So what what are you doing now? Creator, what is my objective currently? Uh, your objective is to hide. Gonna look around for something to hide behind. <clears throat> is clearly the second largest <laughs> thing in this room. <laughs> Oh. Hide behind the first largest thing. Yeah, they're, they're... that's what she's gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> like, push the crate away from the wall and hide behind it. Okay. <laughs> Which is amazing because she could hide in it, and that doesn't occur to her. That's my nope. favorite part about that. Um, okay, so <laughs> terrible loud screeching noise. As uh, from above, you see uh, twelve battle droids enter, and the one in the front has um, yellow painted on their their head and upper torso and says uh, um what the heck uh hold on oh no oh, the stream oh. is still there I at least haven't seen the stream go down yet let's hope no uh can anyone hear me yeah. yes we can hear you on yeah. audio we don't Did have you lose you on power video for a yet or? No, the stream still. The, it was all Discord. It was a Discord error, not. Oh. Yeah, I'm waiting to uh, see if Discord the hates goes plot. down. I'm and Battle Droids. Because uh, the this, as far as I am aware, the stream just. I guess if OBS remains up. Yeah. Or... Okay. Let me let me throw up the technical difficulties. That OBS. Yeah. So I can see Jay. Timothy. Mm -hmm. The Liz. Oh.
boxes even. So there we go. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Sorry about that. Time um, quake. Uh, so the battle droid captain, I uh, was saying, the one with yellow point. Are we uh, back on and are we unmuted? Are back on talk again? Hello, hello, hello. You're unmuted. Okay, good. Okay. Are we unmuted? Are yes. you unmuted? Okay. I'm unmuted. We are, everyone's unmuted. Good. I hope. I mean, according to OBS. Um, <laughs> Discord took a nap. Uh, yeah. It's weird. Um, and the weird thing Real was on my, you know, on my laptop, I got like a billion Discord notifications all at once. So I don't know what that was about. Um, okay, so the battle droid captain mm-hmm. um, kind of looks in and says, ah, uh, uh, search the area. And uh, the battle droids uh, kind of split up and Roger, 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 Roger. Oh, uh, can Did they come uh, in during Val trying to hide or after? After. Okay. So <laughs> it's probably like, a, and you kind of got it right there, right as you hear. Search the area. Uh, Roz, what uh, were you going to say? Can Roz sort of try to Jedi mind trick the droids into not seeing Val. <laughs> um, I think door I'm... on the crate is still very much ajar. <laughs> no one bothered to close it. Val just moved the crate. <laughs> uh, so Jedi mind trick won't work on droids, but... Since Roz likes and cares about droids so much, yeah, give me an alter check, and you're gonna try and like obscure the droid sensors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Alright. That's another two. I have rolled twos for every single roll. Okay. I'm gonna give. I rolled a one. So, <laughs> okay. um, the droids. The force is with you, yeah. obviously. Uh, so the droids kind of seem confused and they go, well, one of them kind of says, I don't see anything. <laughs> and, um, yeah, another one kind of looks at the droidicas and says, um, Kind of, it almost seems bad at them. Like, oh, just, you know, I think you're better than destroyer droids. <laughs> kind of like, oops, and locks it. <laughs> spite. Yep. Droid oh, spite. Man. Your battle droid game is strong right oh, now. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Um, yeah, and, and the captain says, well, false alarm. Roger, 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 roger. <laughs> weird they're all named roger well then there's a whole army of people all look the same too so Mm. interesting i actually believe roger roger is a specific one and is a named character and has a wikipedia page but oh yeah he's in the uh um the lego ones (laughs) I, i absolutely believe that fantastic I'm looking up Roger Roger for later, Roger. <laughs> He's the Django fat of the battle droid. He kind of is. <laughs> right? Prototype. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so, I, our storyline's converging slightly. The turbo lift goes down, and uh, Azuli, you can see a, another battalion, another squadron of battle droids kind of turn the corner and um, start marching away from you as the turbo lift doors open. Uh, look around for what could have caused big noise. Okay, yeah, so you kind of quick turn the corner. Uh, and you can see there is a giant crate that is pushed up against the wall. And if it had hit the wall, like, that certainly would have made a, a loud noise. 
you don't really see immediately, you know, because Val is scrunched behind it at this point still. You don't immediately see what could have pushed it. That seems weird, unless, like, somebody activated a tractor beam or something. There's no, there's no real, you don't see a crane or anything in here. Go closer and inspect. Uh, are my force powers such that I can kind of sense other force users, or not so much? Sure. If you if you give me a force sense check, and at this proximity, you can definitely. There's a possibility you can sense people. Okay. Also, how obvious is it to her that the crate is empty? Uh, I think it's pretty obvious that it is empty. So if it's just 1D, do I do the dice that can explode or yes. what is? Yeah, okay. so it is it is a die that can explode. Or conversely, well, in this case, it, there probably won't be anything too bad that happens to you. But It is a six. Okay. Oh, my God. So, yeah, okay. uh, and then a one. <laughs> okay. On that one, the one you just had. So it's seven. I don't, there's okay. nothing bad that happens on that one. Okay. Um, so it's a seven. So yeah, mm -hmm. you sense kind of focusing two force users above you. And one of them you would recognize as Roz, since you had a decent, uh, decently long interaction with her. Uh, and uh, kind of, yeah, you notice that. And you can see that the, the crate in front of you is empty. Little Jedi? Oh, oh, that's me. Hi, up here. <laughs> oh my God, be cool, kid. <laughs> oh, Am I hiding well, creator? Oh, You're bust. doing a great job. Oh, triple bust. Okay. I, oh. I think post is clear. Yeah. Is it? I pop my I... head over the side <laughs> and look down at you. Are you I... with us? I paid by bigger Jedi upstairs, so yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a force jump down or whatever. Do I need okay. to roll or? Uh, yes. So I don't eat, see yes, if I eat, eat so shit in front of uh, no, soup. Shatter your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Roz is gonna need help for sure. I'll catch you. Uh, okay. It could catch Tiny Jedi. So if I have ones, I tell you. Is that right, or is that only on the exploder? Only on the exploder. I do have a one on the exploder. Okay. So let me just go to you. Do I subtract that one? Um, so, so oh. just, t just tell me, you don't have to Good. subtract it. You can still add it to the total, but I'll add okay. a complication. Great magic. Brilliant. All right. So that is, uh, 21. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, you land, um, you hit the ground, uh, Azuli, there is a, um, uh, a Tegruda uh, man in front of you um, with some obvious ability to use the Force, though he is not dressed as a Jedi that you would be familiar with. But neither was... Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Neither was Roz. So. Um, but yeah, you hit the you hit the ground, Vitoth, and I'll... will be a complication that comes up. I'll just have to think of one. One of my Leku accidentally smacks one Ow. of my friends. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what do we want to do about Roz? What would you like to do? Uh, I forgot my lightsaber is a multi-tool. Mm -hmm. Can one of the tools be like a little grappling hook? Sure. Yeah. Like the <gasps> ones, like the one that, like, uh, yeah, Luke has one. Luke Skywalker yeah. one. Yeah. Definitely. See, so, yeah, now that you're so up I'll... here, you just tie it and you can repel yourself down. I would. I, I would think she would like repel first down to the crate and then down to the floor. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I Every farm it. boy should have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just in his belt. <laughs> there's no, there's no tall buildings. Or what are you doing on Tatooine? 
belt that he stole off the stormtrooper. Oh, it is on the stormtrooper belt. Well, what are your stormtroopers doing with grappling? Well, guns? fine. Plot makes it a lot less make funnable, yeah. but they all want to be that. Batman. No, now we can just make fun of the stormtroopers having them when there's no reason for them to. Yeah. It's pretty true. They also still have that thing on their butts, which was supposed to hold lightsabers, and then they cut that out of the movies, so now they just have a weird tube on their butts. Thermal detonator is uh, a grenade. Um, <laughs> uh, Yotto, Yotto. A thermal detonator! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, rappel down. Awesome. Uh, Azuli, you can see uh, Roz, and you have heard a, a a droid's voice from behind the crate. Are we finished hiding? I uh, <sighs> yes. <laughs> crate kind of clonks back into position because it was up against the wall. <laughs> As Val just stands up uh, fully and gets out from behind it. Jedi, you have made friends since we <coughs> last spoke. Uh, this is Val. Val, this is Azuli. Uh, I introduced myself to Azuli. Um, hello. Hello. Are you also with Tiny Jedi? I am. <clears throat> I am. She is apparently one who makes friends quite easily. She is. She is Boy, well liked. <laughs> well, that's what my master says about me, but she doesn't sound as positive as you <laughs> about it. <laughs> hmm. Yes, I, I sort... get the impression that she does not find that so impressive. <laughs> I ruffle, I tousle your, like, your, don't you have, like, carrot red hair or something? Yeah. <laughs> I tousle your hair uh, indulgently. I say, don't worry, kids. Uh, so, you... was it you who made large noise everyone on ship heard, or... Oh, that, that was Am that. I Am I looking... <laughs> I tripped. Yeah. She hasn't gotten her space legs yet. So, do we have any... So we know that you're... Right, we know who your owner was supposed to be, or do we not front brain no uh, as characters? Uh, no, I, I think you, you can put two and two together. Okay. Because you... Roz you know, definitely heard it. Yeah, you would know that this is... I think you would have intuited slash learned that this is Dom Tree Tour's uh, personal cargo bay. Right. Val also <sighs> mentioned that her original creator was set to Dom Tree Tour. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. that's the thing she said out loud. So, do you have any sense of, like, hmm, this is a tricky protocol, or, or situation, I guess, because I don't... Uh, it, it, it could get political, which you have Very. done your best to stay out of since you left the yes. Republic. We need to... <sighs> Roz, what's your feeling on this? Uh. Val is at this point going to just start walking around the hangar and just looking at everything. <laughs> I mean, I like her. She's a new friend. Uh, I I quite agree. Um, unfortunately, our friend is considered property by um, the the system, and. Uh, <sighs> I'm just wondering what we want to do about it. <laughs> because I, I agree. I, I like uh, Val, is it? Val, yes. I like Val, too. Um, Variant 4 light recon. Yeah, At this Val. point, she's just, like, real close. <laughs> up on Vitas, just, like, right. looking at him. Right. I say Vitas, Rix. And I smile. Hello. Open mind. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so we know that we are going to this planet, this place, and that this is also going there 
this whole everything in the cargo bay ostensibly is all going there. And yes. Do we have a sense of how much time it will be until we're supposed to disembark? Um, I believe my answer for that last time was Star Wars time, where it's, <laughs> okay. it's unclear. But no, it's is it soon or is it soon. a few it's, days? Okay, it's like uh, you probably have another about ten hours of transit. Okay, great time for shenanigans. Yeah, okay. definitely, but not also not like okay, we have to hide this droid for three weeks. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> to hide uh, this droid, get it a hat and like jacket. <laughs> Ooh, really long trench coat. Ooh, no, four long trench coats. I was just about to say four, four, <laughs> yeah. four long trench coats. One for each arm. <laughs> business, business. <laughs> I love eating and shopping. So, what is do we have? Is there, do we have any sense of like how, like, once this stuff ostensibly has been loaded? Unless there's a reason to check on it, a la what just happened, no one's going to look at this as long as it doesn't appear that anything is out of order. Or is there the regular, like, let's make sure nothing walked away? I mean, that, that's, up to, that's up to the people in charge. Right. Um, there's no, like, inspection log visible around or anything. Anything we can track to get a sense of that. There, uh, like I said, there are a couple control rooms behind you. You can check in there. I, I, I mean, they're going to notice that the your, Val's going to have to move the crate back. That's for right. Sure. But, right. <laughs> but Val was only also with the door closed. Only this much of Val was visible. So you know, if as long, if someone's kind of just walking by, they may not immediately notice Val's not in there. Um, they'd have to activate the view screen kind of thing. Right. I guess I'm wondering if there's. It seems to me there's a few options we could possibly look at in the next 10 hours. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know if anybody has any input. I have thoughts, but but uh, please, I'm, I'm interested to hear what everybody else has to say. And maybe we have, maybe our ideas align. Uh, there are two <laughs> battle droid corpses in the turbo lift. Yes. Oh, plus the one that I've been holding up with my head. I guess, yeah, so right? I assumed you brought that up yeah, with I, you and then lowered it back down. Sure, that I like that. It's like my little puppet. Uh, oh. Val has moved on from inspecting um, Vitoth to inspecting Azuli. Just a big single eye. It's kind of... How, how uh, 1000? You are quite curious. You are quite interesting. Thank you. So are you. Okay, so... Uh, huh. Is uh, your intention to hide Val? Val, do you know what would happen normally if you were to wake up when you were... Uh, when they thought you were going to wake up, would you just? Do you know what the the plan was? I know that you are important, not you, but others like you. Hmm. Uh, Val. Yes. Can I look at your programming for a sec? Yes. So, give me a computer programming check, Roz. Ooh. Ooh. I was going to say, I imagine that's one of your best skills. Yeah. Or these. Don't often cross the Star Wars tropes with the computer hacking tropes. This is <laughs> nice. I'm in. Oh my god. <laughs> Except I'm also what's being hacked, so of course I'm in. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Five, ten, fourteen. Plus one is fifteen. Okay, perfect. 
So yeah, you you take it. Your multi tool um, Val kind of lowers herself so you can get in there, uh, and sparks start flying, uh, or not flying, but uh, a couple things start happening as you start attempting to view Val's programming. Uh, circle wipe. Back to <laughs> uh, the 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 deck upstairs. I'm waiting until we get to PowerPoint shatter transition. Star wipes. <laughs> yeah, star wipes are when we've run out of all wipes. <laughs> They're the best wipes, but you, you got to use them sparingly. Um, they need to remain special. Okay. Uh, Dome Tree Tour is clearly getting annoyed. <laughs> and yeah, I imagine you were just <laughs> making that face. Kind of like, well, I don't understand the problem and why you're not answering all of my questions very thoroughly. Yes, if I just managed to not get upset before you, I've won. That's the law of the internet now. <laughs> uh, well, so I'm sure if, as you say... Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yikes. Um, well, if all of your paperwork is in order, as you say, that I'm sure transporting weapons... From one location to another location should be absolutely no problem. I say this simply in the interest of galactic peace. I am not operating under any official capacity, of course, but certainly that shouldn't be too difficult, should of it? Of course. Um, <laughs> says everything we have is in order. Oh yes, Master Terra Captain. Knobs and no one can because they're below. My yeah, <laughs> it's a shame. Great object work, though. Thank you. It's what we can't see. It's the yeah. notes you don't it's, play. It helps. It helps jizz. me. It's jizz. <laughs> That's jizz. Um. Well, uh, Captain Terrick, I'm sure that a complete inventory has been supplied to you. Yeah. Yep. Uh, pulls out a data data pad starts yeah it's i mean it's just it's basic battle droid stuff battle droids mm -hmm. uh, some destroyer droids uh and a vulture droid For... destroyer droids they're going to clash with the aesthetic of kiros don't we think uh and I get looked between them as if I am their school marm. <laughs> and I've already caught them in whatever it is they did. I just don't know it yet, and they don't know it yet. But someone's going to tell me an answer. Booster says, uh, yeah, I mean, what What do you need all those destroyer droids for? Like, bus. Here you go. Oh, excellent question. Thank um, you, Captain Derek. Uh... <laughs> the dome says i well and doing that thing where he's pretending again <laughs> um, <laughs> says, it must be it tunnel kit <laughs> yeah. um he says uh, makes a dial tone wow 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 what wah, can wah, you wah, do wah. yes i'm um, going through a tunnel <laughs> Um, he says, I, ooh, I, 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 a gift to the people of Kiros to defend themselves. Most generous, yes. They are mostly an unarmed population. Yes, our artists. <laughs> yes. Well, I am certain. And he has a little stink on artists, like, that's yeah, dumb. sure, sure. <laughs> what have artists ever done, Greg? Um, <laughs> well, well I like, hey. sure that she'll make uh, quite the PR splash. And um, listen, I'm assuming that it's right offable, but I do think that that is a a good thing you're doing, Master Tree Tour. I'm glad the Jedi approve. Of course. Of course. Well. He says, 
the Republic has become a very dangerous place. It has. Uh, and he, he kind of gestures broadly and then more specifically at like the Martha the Hutt. Uh, oh, Martha's here. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, like across the room at Martha the Hutt. I didn't hear you slide in. Uh, hey. <laughs> what a Jedi mind trick. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Martha, there's no need to get salty. You know that's oh, after your Oh, dude. Mm. Um, <laughs> high five. I was thinking the same thing. Something like that. Um, <laughs> so, so Don Tritor kind of gestures at the, the motley uh, assorted folk here mm-hmm. and lingers a bit on Martha the Hutt and says, It's a shame, Booster, that you are letting such distinguished clientele travel uh, and again distinguished is sarcastic yeah 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 travel so openly and booster's like this is the guy with a squadron of battle droids like yeah i, I don't know why okay, I, don't, I, don't, Death Squad. Yeah, I don't know how booster became the bad guy but booster didn't yeah. like it. <laughs> yeah no <laughs> keep my name out your mouth <laughs> that's twice in like a row i do the and, and this is as much me asking, too, because I'm not aware of one. But do the Huts have any legitimate business front? Like, do they have a... Well, now Hutta is like, you need all our shit, so we... That's how they got rich in the first place, right? Yeah, like, I I, I kind of think it's like, at most, it would be like they're in sanitation, you know? Sure. Like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they have the world's... The galaxy's largest chain of laundromats? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, basically, no. Like Cash it, money business, I got yeah, it. It's, it's... That's fine, though. My beef is yeah. not with the huts. We've made clear, canonically, the Jedi don't give a shit about slavery, so that's not a concern. <laughs> yeah. You know, the um, huts are just kind of notorious criminals. <laughs> like, Yeah. That's fine. My beef isn't with Martha. Um... Uh, but I noticed that he's trying to uh, push her under a bus, which yeah. is. Um... How many buses we got on this ship? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Star Destroyer. It's I mean, a class it's two big, Star Destroyer. Yeah. It's pretty big. You can fit a lot of buses on here. Fair. Um, fair. <laughs> um, would you be suggesting, Master Tritor, that I should open a dialogue with Martha. Kind of puts his hands up like, and then remembers he has to adjust knobs. And talk. <laughs> yes, you can't do both. <laughs> um, he says, I'm not one to tell the Jedi their business. Yeah. But you seem awfully concerned about my actions when a known criminal is on board. Ah. Yes, the known criminal did not march through the commons with um, a retinue. Which uh... um, For my safety. I'm apparently uh. being harassed <laughs> simply for my position in the techno-union. Neutral party as they are. <laughs> Very neutral. <laughs> Su- extra, super newts super they call neutral. it yeah yep. <laughs> extra neutral even soups newts yep you got it no tight, soups tight, newts tight. is with the uh trade federation ah of course <laughs> of course from soup to newts yes right. no my mistake uh, nephew of newt gunray if i recall soup <laughs> soup has a <laughs> Write that one down. Um, he's canon. He's <laughs> soup. Newts is now canon. Apologies, soup. Um, and he should and apologize. any newts who are listening. <laughs> apologies for your newts. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it, I'm running out of placid smiles I can plausibly pull off. So I do think I have to kind of. I'm a little internally nervous that I've not seen any of my party return, but I trust in the Force. 
most of the yeah, time. You also haven't seen any battle droids come back out through that turbo lift being like... <laughs> no, for sir, sure. Sir. I, I think I've made the right moves so far, but I do think I have to move off of Dom Tritor's space because he rolled double sixes and I'm... And I am actually kind of curious as to what Martha the Hutt is doing here. <laughs> what business does she have on Kiros? Art lover, maybe? It's going to be a real... Uh, kingpin situation <laughs> um so yeah if i um let's see i've got him and booster kind of glaring at each other um i i think i've sowed enough plausible discontent that i can walk away with the kind of air of superiority only a 60 year old jedi woman could so um I, I will kind of excuse myself of, well, then perhaps I shall see to Martha Duhat um, presently. I hope that the rest of our journey is uneventful, Captain Tarek. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, and I, uh, Of course, Master Jedi. Thank you for gracing us with your grace. You can't say grace enough. Um, and... Appropriations, Chief Tritor. I do hope that your act of charity is seen in the light in which it is intended. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you. Master you betcha. Jedi. <laughs> and he... I think they roll. For some reason, I remember them rolling. Uh, do they like, roll? Like they're on segways. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that's right. like a real techno union yeah. move yeah because i think um, they're just like gumby blob people who can't breathe or move outside their own planet yeah real evolutionary dead end yeah. if it weren't for <laughs> chest plates and knobs <laughs> how do they develop the tech do they have mind control people or something like with hands like well, they have gloves i don't know maybe they just have like weird... telekinesis Weird Uzi pods. Uzi have to, yeah. have to look they do have later. handling hot stuff gloves. Yeah, for sure. big like nuke, <laughs> <laughs> reactor gloves. Yeah, um, Taunt with those giant tongs. With that. Yes, I, I plausibly excuse myself and kind of force shout out for Vitoth that whatever they're doing, they should hurry up. I know I can't be that specific, but there's definitely kind of just a. A, a questioning it's sense of urgency. urgency. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you can you can attempt to talk to him with, with the force. Uh oh, I guess so. You see, you don't see it done so on purpose. It's always somebody being like someone shouting out. Uh, well, Luke Luke does it on purpose in Empire. He uh, call, he that's calls true. Out to Leia. I was actually going to say it's more Leia's superpower to assess that other people are distressed somewhere in space. Yeah, but that's yeah. her only force usage. Because Luke tries Until... to call, Luke tries to call to Ben, and then he's like, "Oh right, he's dead. He's dead." <laughs> and then he defaults to Leia, which live yeah. live person first, bud. <laughs> Let's <laughs> emergency yeah. contact should be alive. Hey, he's in like, shock. He, he had a bad day. <laughs> yeah. He really really needed a hand at that point. He, <laughs> he just found out Ben Kenobi killed his father. <laughs> Whoa! Spoilers. Yikes. Wow. Whoa. Um, uh, yeah, what do I do? Yeah, control? So it's, it's control and sense. Oh, together? Together. So that's so going to be minus one. Minus one to right? both of them, yep. Okay. Uh, pretty good. I mean, it's not 25 gonna... on the control. Oh my God. <laughs> you let me be a master, man. I know, I know. <laughs> We got a lot of dice over here. Uh, on another sense, if someone tells me what like your approximate weight and general heartbeat is, <laughs> and like the rate at which you breathe, I can probably figure out where you are on the ship. Oh, very good. Um, you don't register the force, that's why I don't think you're people. Uh, Twenty-four <laughs> on the uh, <laughs> sense. Uh, well, you needed a uh, five and a five, <laughs> so. Okay, well, how did it, I do? But, but also, so I'm like, <laughs> whoa, okay, hi. <laughs> because you're not that far, and Vytoth is friendly to you. If they had been right, yeah. further, and Vytoth was right. not friendly to you. 
Uh, it would have been. Yeah, it would have been much. My head. You don't have to shout into it, yeah. Grandma. <laughs> Just, yeah. In in indoor in in head voice, please. Um. Uh. So so and actually, you got high enough that you don't have to actually even speak it aloud if you speak it aloud it, it makes the difficulty lower so you can just mm-hmm. you can just project your thoughts you can project your thoughts and feelings yeah just kind of give him like the whole picture that i have successfully tied up uh you know our kind of uh, mark here but they're coming and mm-hmm. whatever they're doing down there they should wrap it up and okay. please come back with one pot of wine <laughs> i <laughs> Your Padawan is safe. Also, there was yeah. a death, Miri. Yeah, we, we've connected. Uh, <laughs> listen, and I, I relate the situation with uh, Val. Hi. Um, <laughs> ten hours, and I inter- and I relate the apparent bonding between Roz and, and Val. Um, and so I'm wondering what the feelings I'm getting are right at this point in time. Oh, it's a Tired. lot of... This again, <laughs> like, there isn't... A mouse droid that she doesn't give a name. Like it's just it's that's not the mission. As best I can send that. Uh well that's not the mission. It's, it's a the, big ship if she needs to hide something. I don't know. I it's I, a big droid. I'm gonna send you a brain picture. <clears throat> that's a spaceship. It's not a droid. Scrolling. Exactly. Yeah, keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Keep, keep scrolling. scrolling. <laughs> yeah. It's like just, Harry, I, I, I. It's all right. It's all right. This is my master. Trust. Master. My trust. Master. It's all right, master. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Somewhere, master. I you just want. Laughing. I He's just joking. want. I just really would like your input on whether um, Val should perhaps play possum and go back in the crate. Until no, we val- disembark. Oh, the, we gave the robot a name. Yes, no. <laughs> the um, robot. The robot. Mm-hmm. Uh, pardon me. The droid mm-hmm. has its own consciousness and sovereignty of self, so it, it has a name. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, we didn't no. give it. it. It told us what its name was. Okay, reach out yeah. to it with the force. Is it there? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> we can have a much more metaphysical debate once you get out of there. I'm not debating. I'm just positing <laughs> options. Don't care what you do with the droid. Fine. Fine. <laughs> just keep them away from us. Thank you. <laughs> but the back door is swung open. It's all. Uh, yes. Okay. We'll be. We'll be right up. Be right. Mm-hmm. Up. Everything will be fine. It's going to be beautiful. You're not going to believe how beautiful this. Um. What comlink the... link frequency are they speaking on? Oh, the, the force. <laughs> the force. See, you heard them. <laughs> All right, fine. I, uh, I, stay with us if you're so concerned. Um, no, I have to talk to a hut. <laughs> they're, in, they're insufferable. Which which hut? Martha. Why did you say that name? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> I can't talk about uh, going through a hut tunnel. <laughs> Martha's just the Hutties word for mother. It just Uh I see. This is Mother Thank the you. Hut. Mother, mother the Hut. Mother the, the, gotta write that down. Mother the <laughs> That sounds like a now she's some like super a, old. It sounds like crowd. a euphemism in our Star Wars universe. But yeah, it's the it's the mother old the it's, hut. It's, oh. it's Mama Fratelli from uh Goonies. It's <laughs> oh, Mama Fratelli! Holy, yeah, 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 I see that. Yeah, that she would have been perfect for it's, hot acting. Like yeah, it's the capture. old. I forget her name. Wonderful actor. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So throw him out from the train, right? Uh, Crusty old me track. So, Roz, thou. Yes. yes? Do you want to work for War Machine? I mean, do you want to be a? Do you, do you want to just go and do this thing, or, or, or do you want uh, to be yourself? I was looking through uh, Val's programming. Did I find anything? Okay, yeah. So, okay, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, as you're mm-hmm. looking through it, yes. Um, so Val had a mission on Kiros. Uh, that mission was to test Val's. Uh. Stealth, recon, and eventually battle capabilities because yeah, they don't have any defenses, so Val's not going to get shot down. 
but we can figure out how fast Val can blow stuff up if that's necessary. Launch and, and you so know, she's not like a, an expendable area slash people. Yes, to, it's wow. It's so no one's going to care that oh, this colony yeah. of less than a million people is gone, or not even gone. It's you know there is a freak accident or something like that. They can the techno union can write all of this off. Right. Okay. So because um, they don't have extensive sensors, because that's like the man, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. Can we? So these battle droids are locked. Is that right? The uh, destroyer droids so are the destroyer locked. Destroyer droids are currently locked in their crate. <laughs> uh, Roz will ask Val. Um, can I change something real quick in your programming? I do not believe I initialized access to where you have accessed. If you make a change, I will not notice. But do you want me to change something about you? You are changing something I do not currently have access to. Registration mm. and errors edits are at your discretion, creator. Okay. Uh, Roz will just quietly delete the last part where it's like, don't destroy the colony. <laughs> okay, yeah. And change it to, like, paint a picture of everyone you see. <laughs> oh, that's going to take a lot of time. Don't do a genocide. <laughs> it's going to be real difficult without hands or any way to manipulate <laughs> objects, really. You could do, you like, take the... Take a picture uh, of everyone you see? Going to be like, real what? big, like, finger paints? Like, you could do, like, those fax pictures they have. Like, with the lines of uh, <laughs> numbers they do. Okay, yeah. It's a like dot matrix athlete. printer with blaster bolts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. On the side of a mesa or something. I like it. Uh, all right, so... Val, are you all right to sit in your crate for a while? I do not see why not. I suggest we do that. Let's make it look like everything is to normal. To normal. Let's move your crate back to where it was, please. Bow scrape a heavy metal crate across the ground. <laughs> uh, can I try? Can I try and? Can I try and uh, lift it and help? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so that's a telekinesis check, which is alter. I think. It's pure altar or is it altar and it's pure altar. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Twenty five. Okay. Oh so, great. So yeah, Val pushes it and you lift it and can gently put it back into place. Great. All right. Um, Val, we'll see you when we land. If you we want us to. We have a comlink frequency to remain in touch. You do? Ross? Uh, I can do that. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you just pick a comlink frequency and um, you all can sync up on it. Is there any way we can affect these destroyer droids? Um, let's see. Uh, well, you have lightsabers. You have lightsabers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh so okay. Has thermal detonators. And they're not uh, on, so they're they're shields. That's less subtle. Lightsabers would definitely tip off people that Jedi were involved, or or at least lights, you know someone with that tech if they took it from a Jedi. Good luck, right? But um, <laughs> Thermal Detonator just seems profoundly unsubtle. Um, what's your feedback, Azuli? <laughs> if you do not want attention being drawn to you, then I would not mess with droids over there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but if they're going to be used... I mean, it's one thing to have Val not work. That's significant. But to have the battle, the destroyer droids, ten of them. 
Mm-hmm. Is there? Can we? Little, little tiny Jedi seems to be able to change things with droids. No. Yes. Exactly. Like More that. subtle way. Oh, but I do it. not know if we have the time for, for to be doing ten. I mean, uh, I could just start ripping wires out, then it doesn't take no time at all. Then you don't have any droids. Well, can we do it without being noticed? Or do we want it to be obvious sabotage? Uh, Listen, all of y'all. <laughs> yes. It's a sabotage, yes. Oh, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to go to the elevator, and I'm going to get rid of these two battle droids that were damaged. Okay. And I'm going to stash them on the upper beam with my brain. Okay, yeah. Um, That's not too hard. Right. Uh, Do you want me to roll? Nah, you can just... Okay. Because we're starting to... Okay, and then... uh, Right. One more thing. Do, do we want to try and... You just want to rip wires, or do you want to try and make them have a different point of view? Uh, I mean, ripping wires is easy, and I can just tell you what to rip, so I can get Val back in her okay. crate. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Uh, I'll ri- rip them with my brain, if I can, just well, from a distance. You have or... to unlock it. Oh. Well, okay, rip it from a... No, you kind of got to get in there to, okay. to rip them. Um, it, it is complicated enough that sure. without being able to see it, you have to do that. So, so Roz can try and break the lock. Like that would not be a that would not be too hard of a thing for Roz to do. Is that going to trip an alarm? No, no, not necessarily. It will be more obvious. It was meddled with. Yeah, it was locked I mean... by the. By the spiteful battle droid, wasn't it? Yeah, but it wasn't supposed <laughs> to have been locked, so a bat- the battle droid might be like, "Nothing wrong." Like, if they don't want to be like, "Well, somebody, <laughs> somebody broke the lock." Well, who set a lock on them? Kind right. of. Like, I mean, yeah, they're already kind of locked up, so maybe we could just leave it, and then they won't realize they're locked in there. But can't they unlock it? I mean, someone would have to notice that they was locked in the first place. Right, but I mean, <clears throat> aren't they being unloaded in 10 hours? And aren't they going to notice then? And the guys who lock it might have a ways to unlock it. I'm just wondering, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I'm concerned about the population. Yeah. So, um, this is quite a revelation. It's like, you know, corporate sponsored genocide slash, you know collateral damage um i'm gonna communicate to kaya that um this 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 dilemma this situation there are 10 destroyer uh droids that are intended along with the vulture droid originally to be trained on the general population to test their battle effectiveness stealth surveillance uh, I'm seething. <laughs> Get a lot of seething. Flames. Flames from the side of my face. Burning. Seething. Um, okay, so. Um. I, I, I want you guys to get out of there because now I'm worried that Roz is in. You, I, I, we'll I talk know about can it. get we'll it out of there, it. but I, we yeah, have, I, we have time. We have ten hours. Yeah. We have ten hours. Right. Yes, yeah. and you got in and out pretty effectively, and they're yeah. down three battle droids. Right, and they don't know it. <laughs> you just got to keep um, two every two hours. Just take out three battle droids. I'm, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm game for that. It's sort of a like droid killer on the ship murder mystery for them. Um, <laughs> Yes, but was that one plus one plus two plus one or two plus one plus one plus one? Exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, one plus two plus one plus one. Plus one. All right, so let's 
can we so you put his value in your crate is that right uh yeah just in the crate and if Roz has closed the door like you occasionally can turn on your comm link and you'll just like hear a random humming <laughs> um before Roz closes the door she'll like leave a spring roll like on top of uh <laughs> one of Val's arms be like we'll be right back you don't have to worry okay so much okay uh one last thing before we say goodbye uh kaya would you like mm. to go talk to martha the hut i absolutely <laughs> that is my plan yes um um you approach uh martha has um as huts often do, a large retinue. Mm -hmm. um, kind of attending to her right now, she has a little protocol droid. Um, she has one of those frogs, you know, like a wet bowl. Mm -hmm. um, Good and to have your she's... own snack. You never know if you can yeah. eat ethnic, am I right? Um, <laughs> and she's talking to two what appear to be Mandalorians. Oh. Um... Uh, are are they are they the current pacifistic regime or are they Mandalorian like they're full armored up they're like yeah. they're 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 classic Mandalorians yep. they they are not yep. new Mandalorians nope got it uh so yes I I will approach uh, I would like to point out that on my uh, character sheet i do speak hutties okay um and um, i will uh approach and do grancha um do marta do hot me mg i master kaya uh kurata kama wall jedi master um she she waves at the mandalorians who mm -hmm. as they walk by you jedi kind of mandos <laughs> that are we not doing that? <laughs> Hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> just, just wild wrist flamethrower. <laughs> just my favorite moment from that TV show when he take all his guns away and he's just like fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> flamethrower like a maniac. <laughs> um, <laughs> wanta. We are reaching the limit of my hotties, but um, <laughs> uh, yes, I will just, uh, you know, I've, I've got no beef with the huts, um, but I am curious what a hut of such stature and grace is doing on her way to Kiro's. <laughs> <laughs> um, she says in hotties, because Huts refuse to speak any other language. Mm -hmm. Unless you're zero. As you do. <laughs> yes, unless you're zero, and then it's all <laughs> Truman Capote up in here. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, she says, I hear Kiros is beautiful this time of year. Mm. Um, uh, I'm looking for summer homes. Uh, is... What's Kiros's general uh, climate? Temperate. Okay. Um, like New Englandy. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's nice. Not, the uh, leaves change. It's nice. You know, it's. Yeah, not unhospitable to a hut. No, I not mean, necessarily. It's, right. Yeah, it's not. It's not like Tatooine or anything like that. Um, <laughs> there's lots of rivers and waterfalls, like uh, lots of forests yeah. and canyons. Yeah, yeah, a hut could certainly do worse. Yeah, it's a little um, less. Like, um, the Chagruta homeworld is a little more, um, like, jungly and plain. Like, it's a little more, it's a little Humid. warmer. Yeah. Generally, mm -hmm. but. Okay, uh, then, you know, I, uh, compliments on your, your choice of real estate. I think Kiros will find you well. Are you... Um, yeah, and she says, thank you. Jedi Master. 
<clears throat> and Huttees apparently have no words for Jedi. <laughs> nope. It's Jedi Master. <laughs> yeah. They, um, they, they but they spell them. it different, so good for them. They, they have a um, for Death Watch, but not Jedi. <laughs> and it's professional courtesy. <laughs> I feel like it's actually disrespecting the Jedi. They don't have a hut word right. for it. It's kind of like whatever. There's never been a hut Jedi, so you don't count. It's you like not count. not recognizing a nation. Yeah. Let us know when you need more peat moss. <laughs> the galaxy's uh, largest uh, exporter. Uh, and she looks at you and she says, "Gishasta Gasha," which is generally just kind of generic praise, like. Good job, Jedi. Absolutely. You Absolutely. get a gold star, Jedi Master. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and I'll say, uh, uh, did you bring the Mandalorians, or is that happenstance? The <laughs> happenstance. Um, uh, she essentially says they are known associates of mine, yes. Sure, sure, sure. I gotta know what are those your Mandalorians? Is uh, Are those Doe Mandalorians? Yes, this is a broken ass translator. Oh, it's the <laughs> worst. I'm just using the uh, Wikipedia Huttese thing and just kind good, of just, good. Just, um, just grabbing words and such. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Ibdo Mata Nobada. Uh, I, I wish her a good trip. Um, um, and should we uh, cross paths again, uh, I know a lovely uh, tea shop outside of uh, Kiros that she simply must frequent. Uh, she says, uh, thank you. Uh, and and wishes you well on your journey, Jedi Master. Mm hmm. And also with you. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, and as you step away, the Mandalorians kind of push their way back in and. E Waniwanga. <laughs> I forget what that would mean, but I know it's rude. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <bad. laughs> now the Mandalorian's just gonna growl at you. Um uh and the yeah, the one the the one just kinda says kinda mutters something under their breath. Um Is it Jedi scum? Are we in Jedi scum uh, territory? Yeah, you're a bit Jedi scum. Like Yeah, all right. It's just a little concerning because, yeah, Mandos and the Jedi. I mean, it's not recent, but there's a history there. There's a um, history, yeah. Yeah. And why do you bring two Mandalorians to an artist colony? Yeah. Call one of them shiny. Make them real mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not impossible. Martha's true to her word. She's just looking to secure that bag and it is bringing her Mandos around to. Show her big tail energy. Yeah, look, I have two <laughs> Mandalorians. Thank you. Job of the yeah. I got the one. <laughs> Doesn't even have. But how many? Time. How many bibs Fortuna do you have? Um. Oh, so many. That's yeah. Well, the he's least worth this anyway. The least realistic thing about the prequels is that Bib Fortuna kept his job for twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um. There were a few other interims, but like <laughs> stabbings occurred. Yeah, it's a real on again, off again. Workplace accidents. Always on the short list. You can always call up a bit Fortuna. Wow, look who came one eight hundred Fortuna back. now. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. Uh, and we will pick up there next time uh, with kind of those dangling plot threads uh, about outros mm -hmm. and plugs, Timothy. Hi, uh, uh, <clears throat> I am Timothy. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm sad about Chadwick Boseman dying. Uh, mm. Just gonna say it. It's really, really a bummer. Um, 
he was, you know, every time his career kept going, like, I'd be like, Jackie Robinson, Thurgood Marshall, you know, um, James Brown, and then T'Challa. Oh, my God. Like, what a career of, like, black icons and just yeah. amazing grace and talent. And um, that's kind of what's with me, uh, other than delight in playing Star Wars with everybody. Um, I had fun. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Liz. Hi, I'm Liz. I just got to keep wearing that mask and washing your hands. Because, you know, it's still going on, despite what everybody tries to say. <laughs> still a pandemic. Still can get sick. Uh, Don't slowly walk through a crowd touching everyone as you go. No. Yeah. It's just rude. Rude. Ezio. Uh, Cece. Uh, hi, I'm Cece, a.k.a. Soup, a.k.a. Soupsica, on Twitter and Instagram. I do artwork, like the overlay that you see before your very own eyes. Um, but I also do uh, a lot of character art, um, like a commission that I just recently finished. For our GM on Sundays for Beyond the Wall, uh, Garrett, friend of the show, um, of his home game players. So if you want to check that out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Perfect. Uh, Jay. Hi, I'm Jay. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Be kind. Black Lives Matter. Uh, And Marty. Uh, yes, uh, black lives do continue to matter uh, just because they stopped covering it on the news uh, until they had to again because of another fucking tragedy doesn't mean that they stopped in the interim. Um, also, uh, it feels a little grosser after that to be like, hey, like and subscribe. But you know what? Like and subscribe. <laughs> There's a button. Just press one of them. You're looking Maybe at it. About- Minimize the screen first. There you go. There they are. Also, Uwami Wonka actually just means, are you going to pay for that? That we lost. Uh, oh. yeah. so it wasn't as rude, but I did ask those Mandalorians, were they going to pay for that on the way out? So <laughs> It's rude. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, there's a rudeness to it. Um, okay. um, uh, all of the social media info is on the screen. Give us a hmm. A check. Give us a check out. Um, this week is Star Chasers on Wednesday. And the final episode of Beyond the Wall on Sunday. So come check out that. Uh, next week will be something. It's Hello, new people in chat. We're just wrapping up. But, uh, All right, watch... guys. You can watch the VOD. Uh, it was a fun episode about Star yes. Wars. Um. Yeah. So uh, let's see. That uh, be kind. Wear your mask. I uh, see somebody in the Trump administration is talking about herd immunity again, even though it's a terrible idea and it would kill a lot of people. And uh, you can catch this disease more than once. It turns out we know that as a fact. Yep. As a matter of fact. So uh, I don't know what's happening in chat. Uh, but. Uh, hello and check us out Um, have a great night everybody and we love all of you bye